Hello, you all techies out there. Would like to welcome you all on my YouTube channel, White House Security. Here on this channel, we focus on real technical configuration related to cloud, cloud security, network security, and, and many more technical topics. So yeah, without further delay, let's get started with our topics for today. And yeah, I would like to thank you in advance for watching. Hello, everyone. Uh, so today in this video, we are going to learn how to create analytic rules and how to use hunting queries to do proactive huntings. So basically, we already discussed what are the different types of analytic rules uh, which are available in Microsoft Sentinel. So yeah, let's go ahead and see all those things in action. And you know, I will tell you how to create these analytic rules from scratch. So yeah, if I go to the uh, Sentinel portal, there is an option for analytic rules. And here, if you see rule template, there are uh, different kind of a rules uh, available which you can create. But yeah, I would like to tell you a better way, which you know I found uh, very useful to you know create all these analytic rules from uh, this data connector page. So let's go to data connector page once again, uh, the same page from where we connected all those uh, data connectors, and I will show you how it is easy and you know easy to manage or easy to you know or keep track of your analytic rules. So if I click on Active Directory. And if I click on open connector page, it will take me to the connector page for this particular connector. So there is this option for next step. You already, you know, kind of aware about uh, this particular page where we, you know, selected all these logs and, you know, applied changes to connect Active Directory. And you can see those logs are coming right now. So if we click on next step here at the bottom, you can see relevant analytic templates. So basically why I said this is the better place to manage analytic rules because uh, as per the data connectors, you can, you know, manage or, you know, map your analytic rules as well. So these are the relevant analytic rules to Azure Active Directory 102 in quantity. Again, I mean, these are the same uh, analytic rules which you just saw on the analytics portal as well. But yeah, I mean, here it is easy to manage according to the data connectors. So in the production scenario, we have to come back, you know, in, on this particular page and, you know, see if there are any new analytic templates which are added from Microsoft. So from here, you can easily verify that if you are seeing this option to create rule that this is new and and we have to uh, create it. So we can, you know, map that, you know, uh, regarding Azure Active Directory, there are two new templates available, available which we need to create. So yeah, that's why I said this is the better place to, to you know, manage analytic rules. Again, these are the same. Uh, you have all, uh, all of them listed at once at analytic uh, option, and here you have them segregated uh, on the basis of data connectors. So yeah, let's go ahead and you know create one. So let us choose one of them. Let me take this one, brute force against a cloud PC, and to create that, I need to hit create rule. So once I cre hit create rule, let's see what options it you know gives us. So here you can see the name of that particular analytic rules, the description. So if you read the description carefully, identifies evidence of brute force activity against a Windows 365 cloud PC by highlighting multiple authentication failures and by a successful authentication. So this is the description of this alert on these parameter. It is going to alert us that if there is a brute force attack on a cloud PC. Uh, next option we see is tactics and techniques. So here you can see there are different tactics and techniques available. Credential access brute force as it is a brute force uh, alert. It is going to brute force tech, uh, like tactics. So basically what happens in Microsoft Sentinel, each and every analytic rules or you can say incidents are mapped to a tactics based on MITRE framework. So if you have, you know, read about Microsoft, uh, not Microsoft, MITRE attack framework, there are, you know, uh, certain techniques which you can say reconnaissance is there, initial access is there, execution, persistence, and all those things, command and control. So these are the different tactics which a adversary can apply or you know choose can choose to you know attack onto your environment 
so basically based on that each and every incident or you can say analytic rules is mapped to a particular category it can be one or more categories or it can be on you know, all of them as many as you know uh, are you know mapping to this particular description or you know as is a brute force it will be a credential access or or it can be a brute force kind of a thing so basically each and every incident will be mapped into one or more categories from mitre framework here similarly we have the alert logic uh, based on kql of course as we already discussed all the logic or you know all the analytic rules and huntings are based on these kql queries so just give you a brief idea from here you can modify this particular logic according to yourself and create your own analytic rules so basically you can remove some things from here you can add some parameters from here little we will learn about kql later in this video series like what is this extend what is this where and other uh, parameters which are there in kql query so yeah this is basically the logic behind this particular uh, uh, analytic rule let's go down and see other options so here uh, the next option is for alert enrichment so basically i mean this is for uh, alert en enrichment basically when we will be seeing those incident what exactly you know we want to see on you know uh, the main page or you can say uh, at at once you know and at a glance that you know whenever there is an incident i just want to quickly see these things at first so what is the account associated with that what is the ip asso associated with that particular alert all those things we can you know uh, map to entity mapping so in alert enrichment we have three things custom details alert details and entity mapping so entity mapping is the uh, most important one here so here if you want you can add other entities as well uh, you know choosing from these account azure resources dns file file hash host and all those things so according to yourself you can add these as well basically after that custom details you can add some tags you know and all that stuff based on your requirement and all the details uh, like you know or the the more elaboration over this particular uh, 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 a particular alert or you know or, the example tactics column and all that stuff you can add but a major most important things are entity mapping here that you know what exactly you want to see uh, first when you you know receive this particular alert so you want to see ip host account and all that stuff which you can mention here okay uh, after that the next option is to query scheduling so this is the you know option uh, which is you know related to schedule alerts why we call them as a schedule uh, you know analytic rules so basically you can define your logic here run query every days minutes and hours so basically if we uh, describe this one this query is running every day or every 24 hours you can say look up the data from last one day minute and hour similarly so this query is running every 24 hours and it is you know kind of a look looking up the data from last 24 hours so that's what it is uh, defining here at the moment so basically if you want to change the frequency you could run it every hour you know like 30 minutes two hours or something like that according to your convenience so this is the query scheduling part of this analytic rules creation alert threshold generate alert when number of query result are greater than zero so basically it will generate an alert once there is a, a hit to this particular query so we can again change this to one two three or something like that according to our requirement that you know if uh, one uh, number of queries are there generate alert or if you know uh, two uh, number of queries results are there then generate the alert so similarly you can customize this as well event grouping is again self-explanatory if you want to you know configure how rule query results are grouped into alerts so group all events with single alert trigger an alert for each event so that's what you can also define here I will go to the next page now this basically is the most important page the set rule logic which we just now discussed in creation of an analytic rule so let me go to the next page here you can see create incident uh, from alert triggered by this analytic rules is enabled we have to enable this if we want to see incident based on this particular analytic rules so it is enabled again if you want to you know group related alerts triggered by this analytic rule into incidents so basically if you want to group all those you know which are coming within five hours or five minutes or you know, 30 minutes or so you can uh, use the settings for grouping of those uh, alerts and incidents so yeah this is basically it on this one there's this page 
next we have automated response this is uh, we are going to discuss later in this video series this is the automation or sore capability part of this uh, particular product but yeah right now we are not going to you know or take a look at that but later definitely will once we will you know uh, dig into playbooks and automation stuff we will definitely come back here and see these things so yeah next we have review and create so it will validate my configuration validate my query uh, validate my scheduling and all that stuff once the validation is passed i can go ahead and hit create so once i will hit create it will go ahead and save my analytic rules and you know deploy that uh, so okay uh, so basically once you have you know deployed or your analytic rule is saved you should see in use against that uh, you know uh, that particular uh, like uh, analytic rules uh, name but right now there is a bug in this particular uh, you can say sentinel small bug so you know before reloading it will not show you have to reload it once to see that you know this particular uh, analytic rules is created or not so let me reload it and and show you guys how it is so it's a small issue or you know you can say a bug at the moment in this uh, portal so once again if you go to data connectors just let it load again if you go to the active directory on to the data connector page from here similarly and we will see that right now you will see uh, in use against that uh, analytic rules which we just now created next steps these are the relevant analytic rules so right now if you see you have this in use indication against that brute force attack against a cloud pc because we just now created it and saved it so that's how you will create an analytic rules to create incident based on that particular so you similarly have to create all of these uh, i can show you that you know similarly you can go to the other data connectors and you know find the relevant analytic rules to those as well let me just quickly show you once again so now if we go to suppose as our activity open connector page similarly to the next step so here you can see relevant analytics template this is specific to azure activity similarly as we discussed for uh, this one active directory so here as well you can uh, hit create rule let's just quickly create another one for azure activity similarly same uh, same option should be there so yeah, let's quickly go ahead and create one uh, this is the name this is the description so whenever there is a new user for cloud shell it will alert us again mitre tactics are mapped to this one execution and command and scripting our severity is low if we click on next the query logic is there we just discussed similarly uh, the entity mapping is there for account and ip it is running every day uh, every 24 hours and comparing the data for last 24 hours alert threshold is again zero next incident setting okay again i mean uh, incident setting create incident uh, from the alert triggered by this analytic tool we are we have this enabled and again automated response we will discuss it later as already you know we discussed and review and create so once it will validate uh, we can hit create and it will be automatically created just uh, it is taking some time to validate now it's done let's hit create and you can see saving analytic rules analytic rules saved so if now if we go back to analytics you will see the rules uh, which we just now created in the active rules so if you see active rules we have brute force and we have new cloud user already here so yeah uh, this is the way that we create an analytic rule and you know to detect all those incident now let's quickly check what is hunting uh, so hunting, I mean, we already discussed that, you know, it is used to hunt down the vulnerabilities proactively like uh, in the in the previous video. So let's quickly go ahead and, you know, uh, verify from the portal that how it, how it looks like and, you know, how we can run queries from here. 
so basically this is the option for hunting this hunting option is there and these are the pre-built huntings which are available uh, from Microsoft security expert to run those hunting you can simply you know select one of them and you can hit on run query or you know you want to run two of them at once you can just uh, run on selected queries similarly if you want to run all of them you can click run all queries from here so I will do that I will you know hit on run all queries and I will uh, verify that you know how it is running and you know what are the result is it has been giving to us so let's hit run all queries so yeah I mean it takes a little bit of time to run all those queries like you can see 211 queries are available but yeah we can see some of the data right now so let's go ahead and you know check uh, one of those so let's check this one host with new logons let me click click on view result and let's see what information it you know gives gives us so yeah these are the results based on the hunting queries uh, we ran just now so here you can see that there are three uh, accounts which are logged into your machine at the moment uh, these two are system account and last one is the account which you know I used to log in from lending zone so basically now I mean this is these are early days I just created this for virtual machines but again I mean it will compare all the users which have logged in you know last 15 days or so last seven days or so if there is a new user which you know recently logged in or you're not not supposed to logged in he will you know uh, uh, central will uh, kind of you know alert us that you know these are the uh, new user logon we see we didn't see it before in last seven days or 14 days whatever the logic is defined so yeah this is how uh, the hunting and the analytic rules works in sentinel and yeah these are the two major ways to identify the threats vulnerabilities and you know other issues into our environment so yeah that's it for this video I hope this has been informative to you and I would like to see you on the next one. Thank you.